Hello Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. First things first, I want to say welcome 2020. Happy New Year. Thank God, thank the universe, thank whatever you believe in that we've all made it this far. So, congrats to that. Um, I know that I have been MIA for those handful of you that continuously watch my videos and keep up with me. I know I've been MIA a little bit. I have been traveling i have at the month of december i was rarely home sleeping at my parents house sleeping at my sister's house going on vacation working 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 and just doing doing things and setting myself up for 2020 but now i'm finally back and i am ready and dedicated to growing this channel and growing with you guys hopefully you know maybe one day collabing with raw beauty christy or something like that would be a dream come true but anyways, um, the point of this video today, I just want to share some of the things that I purchased in December. December was a big month of treat yourself. Uh, my family doesn't really do big things for Christmas. We don't go all out with a bunch of gifts for everybody. We did a Secret Santa this year, so I got one gift. And uh, I gifted myself everything under the sun. So basically that is what I want to get into. The first thing that I want to mention and I'm very, very excited about is this Physician's Formula Butter Collection. Now typically I don't go for these big boxes of makeup like this. I think that they're very bulky. I think that it's just a lot, but my sister got it and I saw it on Christmas Eve and I immediately ordered it. So in it it has, you have bronzers and you have eyeshadows. Beautiful, beautiful colors. But wait, there's more. You slide one side out and you have blushes and lippies. And then it gets better. You slide the other side out and you have your highlights. So I'm going to swatch some stuff. So these are four of the eyeshadows that are in there. There's, there's 20 eyeshadows in here, so a very, very big variety. Okay, so there's three of those highlighter shades out of seven highlighter shades so and again you have fair skin you have dark skin tones in here which I think is beautiful and then there's there's the blushes and the lippies like I said I'll show them one more time for you but this palette <gasps> okay I cannot flip it because I do not want this to break this palette is so beautiful and super super diverse so that is really why I had spent the $40 on it Next thing that I got was, this was actually in one of my BoxyCharm boxes, the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. I got so much stuff in my BoxyCharm this month because I had Boxy Lux and Boxy Premium, which I had no idea Boxy Premium sent you a second box. I thought it was just more stuff in your, in your box, and I was shook. I came home one day from work to one box, and then the very next day I came home to another box, and I was like, is this a mistake? And it was all different things, and I was super, super excited. But the Cranberry Palette was the one of the things that I was most excited about because I've been really wanting to try stuff from Natasha Denona. And honestly, I don't do a lot of shopping like in the stores. I order everything online because number one, I'm lazy. Number two, I have no time. I have no time for anything. I'm always at work or I'm always at school. So for me to actually go out and go shopping is really a pain in the ass. So, um... So I bought that, or no, I got that. I've been wanting to buy other stuff, and I probably will now after using this palette for a couple of times. And uh, I also got a lot. I got the Watermelon Glow Recipe Moisturizer. Um, what else did I get in my box? I got the Dagger Liner from Kat Von D. I got a lipstick from Too Faced, one of their their melted mattes. I got a bunch of stuff. I got some some skincare stuff. I got a body wash. I got a bunch of stuff. I don't have it on hand right now. A lot of it got put into my kit, and uh, a lot of it is just scattered everywhere or in the bathroom or in travel bags or whatever. But BoxyCharm, if you're looking for a subscription box, BoxyCharm is the one. I also ordered, which I, I actually finally just got in today, two butter highlights from Amazon, but they are from Physicians Formula. I haven't even popped them open. Like I said, I literally just got them today. But the thing I am most truly excited about and something that is very vital to this channel because I am doing a color series coming up soon. I got the Dream Big Bundle from ColourPop. So all six of these bad boys, plus the Mar palette back here, um, that I got. And 
I was so excited about this because I had been dying for these palettes. Every every time I would log into Instagram, ColourPop would be posting if they have a new color to put in their little palette. And um, I wanted them all so bad, but I just never got around to ordering them because, I don't know, I just was nervous or I didn't know if I would use them or whatever. But for $12, it wasn't a bad price. Well, I ended up getting the whole vault. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I want to say it was like $45, but I feel like that's that's cutting it short. I feel like that's lowballing it, but I was super, super, super excited, and I just finally jumped the gun and I ordered it. And then I decided after I ordered it, I was like, well, realistically, I'm never going to use these colors. Why did I do that? And then I was like, you know what? Jump out of the box. When you get them and you see them and you play with them and you'll get inspo from Pinterest or inspo from other YouTubers or Instagram uh, pages or whatever the case may be and you'll figure it out so i just want to show you i'm sure everybody has already seen it these are not new palettes they're new to me but not new to anybody else but this billy jean shade right in the center like i die i die these colors are gorgeous the main squeeze palette so cute these are like more burgundies they have a couple golds the shimmers are really, really pretty, but I'm going to actually just swatch this Frosé color, which is one of their matte colors, because this one is honestly gorgeous. So there's that. I'm not going to swatch everything. I'm just going to swatch like, a couple of colors from these palettes. The It's My Pleasure, which I do have an upcoming video using this palette. The shade, let's see. Let's do Earthshine, which is another one that's right in the middle of the palette. That one's really, really light, so maybe I, let me swatch another one for you. That's Do or Do. The top one in the center, right there. Let me wipe my hand off because uh, we need room for swatches. The Just My Luck palette. This is from their green collection. That Mary Jane shade right in the center is so, so, so beautiful. It reminds me of one of the shades. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but from the collab that they did, the So Jaded with Jack, or not Jacqueline Hill. Why did I say that? Kathleen Lights. My girl Kathleen. That is one of my sister's favorite, favorite YouTubers. She's pretty awesome. This is the Orange You Glad. This is the shade squeeze me the aha honey which was one of the first ones that they released let's see i'm gonna do behave one of the matte shades in here i feel like i always go to swatching shimmers because i know for sure they're gonna pop up and i forget how good of quality color pop is that all of their shades pop up matte shimmer satin whatever it is it's gonna pop up And then the Mar palette, which I have done videos in the past with. Love this palette. So pretty to me. That This color right here, don't even know how to pronounce the name. HWY, I love it. That My Way, that blue is gorgeous, that royal blue. And then, not a part of those little palette series, but the Truly Madly Deeply palette, I got this. It was, uh, it's an Ulta exclusive. I was having such a hard time finding it at Ulta. Every time I would go, it would be sold out. But they have these pressed glitters in there, right right here in the center. And uh, that's what I was really most excited about. Even though glitters terrify me, they honestly terrify me. Because I feel like I always make a mess with them. They always just kind of go everywhere. And I don't know how to fix that. So that's something that I need to practice and learn. But very excited about that. Well, I had a customer who subscribes to FabFitFun. It's normally like... Like they give you like lotions and they give you like I've seen tumblers and I've seen scars and I've seen like little teas and stuff like that. I've never seen well, that's a lie. I've seen sometimes in the advertisements makeup, but it's not a excuse me, it's not a makeup subscription box. But one of my customers got it and she got a box full of makeup and she doesn't wear makeup at all, so she gave me a bunch of stuff. So this is like a rose spray from Grace and Stella. And it is cruelty free and vegan which I loved because I, I do use cruelty free products um, I got the original makeup eraser that she gave me which is cool it's supposed to be 
wet i think that you just wet it and it just gets the makeup right off which is i've never actually touched it but in my head it's just a regular rag so i probably should have used it tonight but i didn't so we'll try again but yeah so i got the makeup eraser and also in there which i was very very excited about another cruelty free product is um is are they cruelty free i'm pretty sure beauty bakery is cruelty free I hope they are. They're vegan. I really hope that they are also cruelty free. But the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding Palette. It's very neutral shades. Very cute. I've been dying to try things out from them. They have it now in a Riley Rose, which is in a mall right down the street from me. And um, now I think I'm going to buy a couple things as soon as I find out if they're cruelty free or not. But yeah. So like I said, I got a bunch of other stuff in my boxy charms and my in my... Um, for my secret Santa, my sister-in-law got me, which I literally just... Oh, it's on my bed and I'm not getting up. Uh, she got me the bottle service from Seoul, which is the dry oils. So cute. They're in, they have cute little names like pink champagne, uh, peach bellini. And then she got me the kabuki brush to go along with it. And it's super, super, super soft. And those things are so cute for, you know, you're wearing a dress and your shoulders are out. And you want to give it a little shimmer. You're wearing ripped jeans. You want to have a thigh light. We love a good thigh light in these streets. But, um... Yeah, so I'm really excited. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out using these new products. And uh, stay tuned because 2020 is going to be hopefully a great year for you, for me, for all of us. And uh, I hope that you keep watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. It would really, really, truly mean a lot to me to grow this channel and um it would be for you it would be for me it would be for all of us because i would never forget the little people who started with me from the bottom so yeah guys anyways i'm going to go to sleep now it's been a very very long day but like i said thank you thank you thank you for supporting me and i will see you in my next video